Alright, what is up guys? So in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, why there are 10 million Chinese people living in Thailand. Yes, you heard me correct. This is a rough estimate, but there are a lot of ethnic Chinese people currently living in Thailand right now. So Thailand's population is about uh, 70 million. That means that roughly 14% uh, or 1 out of 7 Thai is ethnic Chinese. So I will be visiting the country of Thailand right after uh, my visit to the island of Taiwan. So uh, let's get down to the details. I'm going to cover this briefly because I don't want to make this video extremely long. So Thailand has the largest uh, Chinese diaspora outside of China. I'm excluding Taiwan obviously uh, from uh, this point. Uh, records uh, show that uh, the Chinese started uh, arriving in Siam. That's the ancient uh, Thailand. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's what it was known uh, way back in the day. So the records go back uh, over 800 years actually, so there's quite a history there. So the Chinese were involved with the construction of Wat. Wat means temple, and the name of the temple is... And uh, once again, sorry if I'm uh, pronouncing this name wrong, it's uh, Rat Chaparana. So this temple is actually a world heritage site. It was constructed during the uh, 1420s, and there were records of Chinese immigrants uh, helping with the construction of this temple. Uh, fast forward a few hundred years, when the King Taksin, he's the son of a Chinese immigrant, on the bottom of the screen you can see a statue of the king there. So uh, when he became the king of Thailand, he favored the uh, trading be and the uh, immigration between the two countries. And uh, that's when the Chinese population exploded to roughly 800,000 by the early 1900s. And it's estimated that at that time, the Chinese already made up uh, roughly uh, 10 to 12 percent of the population. This is, you know, over 120 years ago. Let's uh, fast forward again to the year of uh, 1912. Qing Dynasty China would fall. This is the end of the uh, emperor system. China's final emperor, Emperor Pui, he would become a Japanese lapdog. He became uh, the uh, emperor of uh, Manchuria before finally being charged at the uh, Tokyo trials. So now China is completely broken. Uh, broken China is engulfed by chaos, lo ruled by uh, local warlords. Rebellions rock the country everywhere. And, uh, and then there comes uh, this man. So this is uh, Dr. Uh, Sun Zhongshan or uh, Sun Yat-sen. He's basically uh, what I would call uh, the Chinese Vladimir Lenin. More on uh, his story later. He has uh, quite a biography. And uh, yes, he's only 5 feet tall. That's uh, 5 inches shorter than uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. So his death led to uh, both Mao Zedong and Jiang Jieshi into believing that uh, they're both the uh, reincarnation of uh, Dr. Sun. So this led to the start of the brutal 22 year long civil war between the Chinese Nationalist Party led by Jiang Jieshi and the Chinese Communist Party or a Balu Jun, led by a Mao Zedong, and uh, Mao Zedong would eventually prevail in a miraculous fashion. I will come back to this topic. This brutal 22 year long civil war completely devastated the country. It is also a main reason why China was so useless, basically, in the second Sino-Japanese war, just like uh, as they were in the first. And uh, China was nearly annexed out of existence by the mighty empire of Japan. And uh, during this time, tens of millions of Chinese people fled the country into uh, Southeast Asia. They fled to countries like Vietnam, to Laos, to Cambodia, to Burma, Malaysia, Indonesia, and of course Thailand. But uh, many countries in uh, Southeast Asia were, they were extremely xenophobic. For example, Malaysia, Indonesia, which are 90% Muslim countries, they hated the uh, Chinese immigrants and refugees. And many were locked up and uh, expelled. But uh, Thailand uh, decided to welcome the Chinese refugees with open arms and uh, they decided to let them stay and integrate into their society. Let's fast forward to present day. There are still many ethnic Chinese people that's uh, stuck in limbo. Uh, they can't exactly return to mainland China due to uh, China's extreme immigration policies. Yes, I've uh, mentioned this before, the Chinese government, the CCP, is very xenophobic and uh, it's very hard to get a green card uh, to stay in China. And uh, Thailand, despite their uh, you know open policies towards the Chinese citizens, there are still many Chinese that's uh, stuck in Thailand. They're not recognized as uh, genuine Thai citizens, so they are forced to work uh, below living wage jobs, just like many of the Hispanics living in the southern United States. And uh, this is all part of history. History doesn't care about your feelings. It is brutal in every single way, shape, and form possible. So the reason why I'm giving you this uh, brief history lesson is because right after my visit to uh, the island of Taiwan, I will be uh, flying to Thailand. And uh, I really hope uh, things go well, I can make it to the island. Because like I said, right now the political tension between mainland China and the island of Taiwan is at an all-time high right now. And I really hope nothing bad happens. 
So I'm going there and I'm hoping to film as much as I can over the course of the next uh, three plus weeks during my trip to Asia. And of course, there will be lady boys. One of the main reasons why I'm going there. And I will be asking uh, them questions like, what is a man? What is a woman? So uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys uh, so much for staying all the way till the end to uh, watch my video. Hope you guys will have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Let me in, let me in, yeah.